I'm Tree, and this is a Project Transparency haul video, sort of. So here we are in the car again. It's very early. It Well, okay, it's not like early, early. It's 8 o'clock on a Saturday morning when I went to bed at 2-ish, 3-something. So a week is not a week. And Ministry of Magic is not the thing to listen to first thing in the morning before you've had any caffeine. That's kind of fun. We're having the the go to the farmer's market and get veg, which, yay. And I have discovered that, you know, in starting this video project thing, I want to document every single aspect of my life. And I'm not sure if that's creepy or just circa 2007. So there you go. All right. So I, if you've been paying attention, I have been doing a little gallivanting because I went to go see my dad and I still owe you all a video. I am working on it. Part of the haul video is I am trying the Adobe Creative Cloud trial period thing and I really like using Premiere. It has a steep learning curve so that's why things are taking me a little bit longer than I'd like them to take. Sorry I'm having a this is like really ghastly lighting and I haven't gotten a chance to try out the Photoshop yet. I'm hoping to do that tomorrow when I actually have a free thing from all of the writing. So things, and this is actually a couple of different hauls because I didn't know haul videos were a thing that existed until recently. So no unboxing because of this. But I got myself a Dr. Hooves figuring, figure, vinyl toy, whatever they're called. I also found myself a Colson. I'm very excited. His little name badge has a picture of the actual Colson on it, which is kind of adorable. And I have a book haul, which Lane was with me for some of it. Because Lane, you haven't seen a lot of this stuff. So yes, Paper Towns by John Green, which Gnome and I have both finished reading, and we're both fairly pleased with it up until about the last ten pages that we feel like undermine the entire point of the novel. An Abundance of Catherines, also by John Green, which I have not started yet. Actually a lot of these are John Green related. I got sucked in. Let It Snow by John Green and Maureen Johnson and Lauren Morocco. Morocco? Yeah, Morocco. I'm really excited to read things by Maureen Johnson I haven't gotten a chance to yet. And if you're interested in Maureen Johnson's other activities, listen to Old Oak Doors Part A and Part B from Welcome to Night Vale because she was intern Maureen on it. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, which I'm really, really excited to read. Ransom Riggs developed this out of Photogra old photographs he collected. There's an entire video about it on his YouTube channel, which I will put a link to it, but it's beautiful and I'm really excited and there's a movie coming out which I am invariably going to review, so that's exciting for me. See, cool pictures, cool old pictures. Really excited. The Daily Book of Art, 365 readings that teach, inspire, and entertain entertain. Part of this was for me because sometimes I need a kick in the pants to get me to get me started working. But part of it was for Gnome's Humanities class because it has, you know, super quick short readings that might be more useful for Gnome students than the textbook which is honestly kind of uh, merciless by Danielle Vega, which I am really excited about. Just look at the graphic design. Whoever came up with all of this idea deserves a cookie because this just, you definitely get a feel for, you know, popular good girls gone demon worshiping or Satanism or possession or something. And that's exactly what it basically sounds like it's supposed to be. And Cinder, by Marissa Mayer. 
a lot of people on my Tumblr dash have been saying that this is brilliant and one of the best fairy tale iterations of Cinderella that they've read. So I figured I should give it a try since all things fairy tale. And if you're familiar with my studio art practice in any way, shape, or form, you'll like Lane is. Lane can tell you about this. All of these things are going to end up in my artwork somewhere. Paper Towns already has. Aside from the books and the Funko Pop Coulson and the Funko Doctor Who's, I recently ordered a shirt from Redbubble that has my art on it. Actually, I ordered two. I ordered one for me and I ordered one for my nephew's birthday, which is very, very late because I kind of suck at dates and I'm sorry about that, Sam. It's coming. It's here. I can mail it out. Martha, if you're watching the thing, tell Sam it will be there soon. But see, it has one of my cephalo bunnies on it. Tell me that isn't like brilliant and awesome and I'm so excited. I have definitely to Pure Friday and I'm totally wearing it when I run my table. So yes, I am very excited by this. This is cool. <laughs> and because if you haven't guessed, a complete Marvel fan, I kind of got myself a Marvel moleskin. I have a blank book problem as well as a Marvel problem. So Okay, right, so that is all the things I have gotten recently and stuff. I'm going to try and do these more often. Maybe it's something that would be interesting to y'all. Maybe interesting to Lane. I don't know, Lane. Tell me what you think. Is this something that you want to see? Do you want to see all the weird stuff I pick up in my daily adventures with Wisconsin? Let me know in the drawer. Record the master's voice. I'm Tree, and this is a Project Transparency Hall. Bleh. Cannot talk. <laughs>